OAD is a free and open source, real time strategy game under development by Wildfire Games. It is a historical war and economy game focusing on the years between 500 BC and 1 BC for the first part, and a planned second part for the years AD 1 to AD 500. The game is cross-platform, playable on Windows, OS X, Linux, and OpenBSD. It aims to be entirely free and open source, using the GPL v2 Plus license for the game engine and CC by SA for the game art. History OAD originally began as a comprehensive total conversion mod concept for Age of Empires II, The Age of Kings in June 2001. With limited design capabilities, the team soon turned to trying to create a full independent game based on their ideas. The game has been in development since 2000, with actual work starting in 2003. In November 2008, the developers confirmed that they would soon be releasing the project as open source. On 10 July 2009, Wildfire Games released source code for OAD under the GPL2 Plus, and made the art content available under the CC by SA. There were about 10 to 15 people working on OAD around 23 March 2010, but since development started, over 100 people have contributed. On 5 September 2013, an Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign was started with a $160,000 goal. They raised a total of $33,251 to be used to hire a programmer. The majority of the finances are managed by the software in the public interest organization. There is no official release date set for the finished version. <laughs> Game engine Pyrogenesis from Greek PYR, fire", and Genesis Origin Beginning is the name of Zero AD's game engine, currently under development. It was originally named Prometheus, after the Greek mythological character who stole fire from the gods, for the use of mankind. That name was changed in 2004, after another development team advertised the use of the name Prometheus for their own game. Pyrogenesis is mostly written in C++ and uses Mozilla's SpiderMonkey JavaScript engine for scripting. It also uses such open source libraries as OpenGL, OpenL, Boost, SDL, Vorbis and WX widgets. It supports open data formats such as Collada, XML and JSON. It is cross-platform, supporting Windows, OS X, Linux and various Unix like OSIS. Topic: Gameplay OAD features the real-time strategy gameplay components of building a base, training an army, combat, and technology research. The game is about economic development and warfare. The game will include multiple units and buildings specific to each civilization as well as both land and naval units. Twelve different civilizations are available, which are each represented as they were at their apex. During the game, the player does not advance through time, but from village phase over town phase to city phase. The phases represent the sizes of settlements in history, and every phase unlocks new units, buildings and technologies. <laughs> Modes The game features both a single-player and a multiplayer mode. In single-player mode, the player's opponents are controlled by the game. In both modes, players can choose between computer-generated random maps, handmade scenarios, or skirmish maps as a hybrid form. Multiplayer functionality is implemented using peer-to-peer -peer networking without a central server. There is, however, a central lobby server which can be used to discover other players and set up a game. Players can also bypass the lobby and connect directly to each other using their IP address. When players connect to each other, one player's computer acts as a host. The host gathers commands from all players and distributes them. Sending just the player's commands reduces the amount of data that must be sent, which reduces delays due to slow network connections. However, all connected players must calculate the entire game state from those commands, which means that the game can only be as fast as the slowest computer in the game can handle. Civilizations. 
OAD allows the player to control any of 13 ancient civilizations from antiquity. Athenians Britons Carthaginians Gauls Iberians Kushites Macedonians Mauryan Indians Persians Ptolemaic Egyptians Republican Romans Seleucids Spartans Topic Development The idea of OAD started around the year 2000 At the start it was just a modding project that would make use of the Age of Empires engine However, different modders bumped into the limitations of using a closed source engine, so they decided to cooperate and make a game from scratch. Between 2002 and 2009, the game was developed in private. Only people who were accepted to the team had access to the source code. During that time, a lot of artwork was made, but it was difficult to find programmers for a closed source model. In 2009, the team re-evaluated the development process, and chose the open source development model. Shortly after open sourcing the game, the team also started to release development versions of the game. Since open sourcing the game, it has seen a large amount of contributors, but is still under heavy development. Reception OAD was voted one of the Top 100 Best Upcoming Mods and Indies", of 2008 by ModDB. In 2009, it was named among the "...top 100 Best Upcoming Mods and Indies", again, as well as winning third place for Player's Choice Upcoming Indie Game of the Year. For 2010, OAD received an honorable mention for Player's Choice Upcoming Indie Game of the Year, and came second in that competition for 2012. OAD has been generally well received. It was voted by fans as the SourceForge project of the month for June 2012. It was voted as LinuxQuestions.org Open Source Game of the Year for 2013. Between 2010 and May 2017, the game was downloaded alone from SourceForge.net over 1.3 million times. Topic. See also. Free and open source software Linux gaming List of open source games <laughs>